Ramos House in Colorado, this one right here is up for sale once again. The Sleeper House along I-70 near Genesee. Three years ago, it sold for $1.3 million. Now fully renovated, it's going for a cool $10 million. Jan Tracy takes us on an inside tour. It hovers like a flying saucer over the treetops on I-70. Colorado's most famous house is a realtor's course, um, dream listing. Month, and I've gotten several calls from that from all over the United States. The deck, that is the section you see jutting out over the highway, has an elegant, almost 360-degree view. Well, welcome to the sculpture house. Inside, nothing is linear. This is the master level. We have a wet bar, a refrigerator, a stereo. The house is six circular levels, 7,500, not square, but round feet. It was made even more famous when Woody Allen's movie, The Sleeper, was filmed here. This is the Orgasmatron. You can't forget this. It's the most important part of the The Orgasmatron played a big role in the movie. He and, and Diane Keaton yes. went in here for, well, whatever. <laughs> Abandoned in 1966 by architect Charles Deaton during construction, the clam-like shell stood vacant and in disrepair until Denver native John Huggins, a bachelor, took on the challenge. My aim was to restore it and complete it the way that Charles Deaton would have, would have built it if he'd been able to finish it himself. Since then, he and his new bride, Patricia, party on, having successful fundraisers here because everyone is curious about what's inside. There are lots of rumors about the house, uh, that it rotates, uh, that it had structural problems, that uh, Hugh Hefner was going to buy it at one point, all kinds of crazy stories, uh, none of which are true, but... If the sculpture house melts your heart, the price will melt your wallet, too. A meager $10 million includes furnishings. Jan Tracy, WB2 News. I would like to make the sale. We took the calculator out with 20% down, that's $2 million, your payments would be about $9,000 a month. You can afford that, Ernie.